Well, good evening everyone, and I do say evening because it is evening here in Los Cristianos on uh, Wednesday evening. Got a lovely sunset going on behind us, the waves crashing, lovely little uh, place to do a little bit of a news update for you. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up as well. There's loads of different Tenerife content on the channel, from live streams to excursions to little news updates like this. So just keep in touch with what is going on um, here on the island of Tenerife. We're going to start where we always do with a COVID update and it is a good update as well. We have continued to drop down. Uh, the COVID update active cases drop below a thousand. Will Tenerife move to level one tomorrow, which is Thursday, which is the day this video goes out. We should hopefully move down from level two, which is what we're in now, into level one. There won't be too much of a difference. The main difference would be with level one is that the capacity uh, outdoors will go back up to 100% on the terraces and 75% indoors. And you can meet up to 12 people um, can meet and gather. That would be the main difference with level one, but it does just show the progress that we've made continuing to drop down um, hopefully into level one, which will be absolutely brilliant. In terms of cases, new cases on all the islands, 57 today, 21 on Tenerife, uh, Gran Canaria 19, Lanzarote 10, Fuerteventura 7, and three of the islands have absolutely no new cases today, La Palma, La Gamera and El Hierro with absolutely none, which is brilliant. In terms of vaccinations, uh, 3,124,000 now uh, administered and fully vaccinated over 1.6 million. We have actually overtaken the UK in terms of fully vaccinated in terms of the percentage of Spain. Uh, we were on 77%, I believe it was, and the UK was behind on 68%, I believe. So doing really, really well with the vaccine, which does show with us dropping down on those COVID rates. Obviously it doesn't stop you catching COVID, but the main thing is it stops the effects being so uh, heavy it does reduce the effects if you do catch it it would uh, drop down active cases per island we've got 474 on Tenerife which is 83 down on uh, last week so yeah Tenerife only 474 there uh, which has dropped down uh, is below a thousand so that does uh, put us in the section to drop down into level one which will be brilliant now the next main section of news is obviously of course about the La Palma volcano it is still going on and they have said there is uh, no chance of it ending anytime soon it is going to be going on for quite a while that lava flow a few new sections did open up uh, fascinating to watch especially as La Palma as an island grows as this lava hits the ocean it's growing bigger and bigger uh, really fascinating to watch I've had a lot of people emailing me can I go over and see it as a tourist and things there's nothing to stop you doing it, but they have asked that you don't do it because it is affecting, you know, people that can be on the ferry to go and, you know, give relief and things. But yeah, there is various YouTube live streams that you can watch of that, and it is very interesting to watch. Uh, but on the other hand, we've got homes being destroyed. A lot of the residents now want to get off the island uh, because the, it's constant rumbling and noise and uh, mini earthquakes all day long and things. So a lot of them. Uh, poor air quality as well. A lot of them do want to get off La Palma now uh, and go somewhere else for a bit of a break from it. it must be absolutely awful over there uh, for the people who've lost their homes and things like that. In terms of Tenerife, still no effect. Airport absolutely fine. Air quality is absolutely fine. Um, again, a few people do get confused with the Kalima that came in and a few bits of cloud. A lot of people say it's an ash cloud and things like that. Absolutely nothing to do with La Palma. You can see from a distance, if you go up Tady, you can see La Palma in the distance and the little bit of an ash cloud or the little bit of uh, smoke coming off it, but it's got zero effect here in Tenerife. So don't worry about that if you are coming on holiday. Um, no worries at all, which is absolutely uh, thankful, really. A bit of a relief. If the wind was blowing a different direction, we'd have mayhem with the airport, mayhem with flights, so it could really complicate things. But yeah, if you do want to see exactly what's going on with La Palma. There is various live streams on YouTube that you can watch for free. And it is quite fascinating to watch all that lava. It'd be amazing to see, but I can see where they're coming from. 
not to bombard them. You know, people have lost homes and things, so uh, do be respectful if you are planning to go over. Um, just be respectful of that. And good news for them, people that have lost their homes, the PM has announced, uh, the Prime Minister of Spain, 200 million euros of aid uh, for those affected by the La Palma volcano. So he has come out and promised uh, a lot of money really to help out the island, the people have lost their homes. Um, the aid is in addition to the 10.5 million uh, for homes and basic necessities approved by the ministers last week. So plenty of aid going over there, uh, which will help them out, hopefully rebuild these homes and give people back their possessions that they've lost and things like that. So absolutely fantastic. If you do want to help out with La Palma, I will uh, leave some of the information in the description and the link to the last news update where I ran through how exactly you can donate directly to them, to the government to help out uh, with those relief efforts. Other bits of news, it is getting very busy over here, especially October. Uh, now that we've entered October, it's extremely, extremely busy. And it, there is an article here that is uh, talking about that holiday booking surge as UK's new travel rule, rules come into effect. Uh, so they came to effect on the 4th you now no longer have to travel back home with an antigen test so you don't need to do a test over here anymore uh, you just fill in your uk uh, traveler locator form uh, book your day two pcr test have it booked and paid for and just fly back there's no need now uh, to go and book a test and have one before you fly home that is no longer necessary so that has increased a lot of people coming over now because it's less expensive a little bit easier and for me, for cars, and I know a lot of people and hotels are saying the same, October's like fully booked, I'm turning down. Uh, a lot of people for the same sort of dates as all the hotels, and they are talking about it being a bit of a record month for October, potentially. October, normally a busy time, but not the busiest, but this October looking particularly um, hectic, very, very busy. I've been out and about this week and last week with the family having meals and doing a couple of excursions and things and you can see there's a lot of people on the streets the main thing we've noticed ourselves is in the restaurants if you eat after 8 p.m you can experience quite a long wait what i would recommend doing is eating if you can half six seven half seven you'd have the restaurant pretty much to yourself all the service to yourself and you will find the service and the food comes a lot quicker we've found that 8 p.m. everything just fills up and a lot of them are struggling for staff at the moment so we have experienced quite a few long waits in various restaurants everyone's the same it's just one of those things after the pandemic but I would recommend if you want to avoid waiting around if you're an early eater you'll be fine half six six o'clock seven you're gonna experience you're gonna get the best experience in the restaurants you're gonna be able to be served faster you'll get a bit more attention once the restaurants fill up, the servers are spread very thin and the service does slow down a little bit. Um, I did wait an hour for a pizza the other night. Um, but I'm not complaining, it's great for the restaurants, it's busy. But if you want to avoid those waits, I do recommend try and eat a little bit earlier. Particularly before 8 o'clock, it just seems everyone comes out at 8 o'clock, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, do watch out for that, it is busy out and about. Uh, cars especially, I've got nothing left for this week. It's little bit crazy at the moment still but i'm not complaining it's great for the island and uh, great for you guys a bit of a buzz about the place and people are loving it people around chatting and meeting people in the bars and things so it is all good news and following on with that being busy the cruise season has now started again in the canary islands the first one uh, the celebrity silhouette which is one of the royal caribbean ships uh, stopped in lanzarote this weekend and that has kicked off the cruise season We'll get a few stopping in Santa Cruz here in Tenerife and the other islands. So that's even more great news for the islands. Uh, more money coming in, more tourism and things. And the last little bit I've got to run through, it is a bit of a reminder for you as well. Uh, man dies after being rescued from the sea on Fania Bay Beach in a decky. Uh, lifeguards did pull him out of the sea as he was unconscious. They did give him CPR, uh, but unfortunately he did uh, pass away. So it is a reminder that the ocean is not a swimming pool. It can be quite dangerous. And do always keep an eye on the flags on the beach. Uh, they are clearly marked with a green, yellow or red flag. Uh, green being safe, uh, yellow being, you know, watch out. There could be um, some currents going around or large waves. 
and then the red obviously is a no swim they really don't recommend you swimming at all so do keep an eye for those flags we do get rip currents over here as well so you can be taken out by the tide and things it's one thing just to watch out for pay attention to the flags that are on the beach with what color they are on the day and always just take care and um, we do believe it or not see a lot of drownings in the sea uh, every single year in Tenerife and the Canaries so it's something just to remind you of and um, just do be careful when you go out for a swim or if your kids are having a swim check the flags and just yeah be careful don't go out too far and um, unfortunately this guy um, didn't make it for uh, various reasons it doesn't go into too much detail but uh, that is very very sad but it happens quite a lot every year in the Canaries and overall, that's pretty much it for the news update, really. Uh, La Palma still going on, but nothing new, big and dramatic. It's quite level and steady. There's no time of it ending soon, uh, but everyone is still safe. Everyone is still being very protected over there, which is fantastic. Uh, as I've said before, homes and things, very sad to lose, but they can always be replaced. Um, it's better that than a life. In general here, very, very busy. Excursions still extremely busy. Cable car is getting booked up on uh, Tadey. Boat trips are still getting booked up. So do book early, whatever you're planning on doing. Even your restaurants, I do recommend booking and I do recommend trying to get in them before eight o'clock. You will see a big, big difference uh, with wait times and things. So do watch out for that. But that is gonna be it from me for now. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this sunset here. Uh, believe it or not, the dog is actually down here. He's been patiently waiting for me to give him a walk. So uh, I'm going to give him a bit of a sunset walk for the rest of uh, the hour, I think. But that is it for now. Make sure you do subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I do post various things on there throughout the day. Uh, little bits of info and stories that don't quite make it to YouTube as well. So uh, do check me out on those. And uh, I will see you next week for a news update. And there should be some other little edited vlogs and a live this weekend on the channel as well so check that out uh, but for now very good positive news uh, covid rates still continuing to drop potentially level one holidays extremely busy uh, everyone i've spoken to this week the flight has been full as well uh, full to the brim every single flight that i've uh, had clients have been on have been full no matter where they're coming from no matter what airline as well so busy busy october and november for uh, tenerife particularly i think thank you very much for watching Stride on and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.